When I was 13 years old, it could have been the worst of times. I started passing out, fainting, for about 30 seconds. The first time that happened, it really scared me. I woke up crying. And I spent quite a bit of time in the hospital when I was in seventh grade. And I was diagnosed as being an epileptic. Epilepsy is incurable. I was on two medications and I didn't like fainting, especially at school when I would wake up with all of these faces around me, staring at me, very embarrassing. After about a year of this, I decided that's it. I am not going to pass out again. I'm done with that. I threw away my medicine. And I haven't passed out since. Now today we know the power of the mind to overcome disease, physical ailments. After all, your thoughts are prayers. You create what you want with your mind. I have had financial difficulties over the years. I've always had a good job and I've always made lots of money. I've had a hard time holding on to it. And there are a lot of people like that. Many people who have gotten sudden wealth by winning the lottery two or three years later are bankrupt. Well, my financial life has looked like this. And some of those downsides were pretty awful. And sometimes I got really depressed. And I even considered suicide a number of different times in my life. I would never do it because suicide is a terrible thing to do to the people that you love, that you leave behind. But I thought about it. I wanted to just get out. But you know, even in those, when times are at the bottom, you can still have a happy life. Christmas, one year when we didn't have much money at all. I could not afford to take my wife and kids to the movie. That's how bad it was. I remember that Christmas as one of the greatest Christmases ever because that's the year I made my daughter her dollhouse. And I made it pretty much out of scraps. That dollhouse has cedar shingles, little tiny sh cedar shingles that I created by myself. And today that's one of my daughter's prized possessions. It was a great Christmas and yet we didn't have any money. You get to choose whether you live in the best of times or the worst of times. I have chosen not to live in the worst of times when things aren't going so well for me. And you can do the same. There's a power in the universe. It's the power of creativity. It's in the air we breathe. It's in you. In all of you. It's in me. We are co-creators with God. We create with our thoughts.